watch you marry a good man. I'm filled with the pride and confidence that she, that you and Ben are about to embark on a wonderful journey together. And my love and happiness that can only come, and I wish you the love and happiness uh, as man and wife. May the two of you always treat each other with love and respect and kindness and compassion. But please slow down <laughs> and enjoy the ride. So if you could, just join me in a quick toast. I know everybody's going to have toast here, but you guys look thirsty. So, to yesterday's love, today's commitment, and tomorrow's joy, to family, to Ben and to Kara, forever continued blessings. Have a great night. To start things off, I want everyone to know that I'm made of honor and I'm made of words, so bear with me. <laughs> um, uh, Kara told me that I didn't need to give a big speech, but I'm going to as a wink, wink, nudge, nudge that I'd like when I return. <laughs> um, speaking of Kara, she and Ben are recently married, so congrats. Uh, you two bring all the best in each other and are incredibly happy together. Um, some people might think that the most impressive thing is that you guys did long distance for five and a half years, but I think the most impressive thing is that you don't go a day without watching How I Met Your Mother, even after the worst finale that I've ever aired on TV. Um, so considering this, then you might, rem you might remember Lily saying, in marriage, being right is less important than being supportive. Remember, happy wife equals happy life. Um, I'm, I'm kidding about that, but just know that I'm sure that you will live long, happy, successful, amazing lives together, and I hope you guys have a fantastic time. Everybody raise a glass to the Philadelphia Eagles. I mean, Kara and Ben. <laughs> All right. Hey, everyone. I am the best man, as you might have uh, heard. So, uh... Ben and I really met by accident. We had a mutual roommate or a mutual friend who backed out of an uh, um, apartment and then said, you guys should live together. And then we did. <laughs> <laughs> and then we realized we were best friends when, when we moved in in August and we said, let's decorate for Christmas. <laughs> and honestly, it got to a point where, you know, much like Ben and Kara, it was love at first sight for us too, because... <laughs> It was just a bromance that was meant to happen. <laughs> and, you know, Kara actually didn't really like hanging out with the both of us together because, you know, she would end up being the third wheel. <laughs> well, uh, Kara, I'm sorry to say tonight, but I'm here to make you the third wheel one last time. <laughs> you know, Ben is one of my best friends. I love him. And they say millennials are killing the divorce lawyer industry, so you guys really have statistics on your side. <laughs> Alright, so in Chinese, to say cheers, it's ganbei, which means empty your glass, which everyone here, empty your glass. Yeah.